welcome to Maya's world. Okay, so this is gonna be a hair video and I'm really excited because I feel like my hair has now like dropped, which is a transition out of one phase into another phase. And I actually miss my hair always sticking up because I think this is such a beautiful stage. Um, I've had my locks for like two and a half years now or something like that. I don't really keep track. I should like find out the exact date and then like, I don't know, do some kind of video where I show you guys like how it's changed from then till now. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. I hope you do thumbs up. I make videos a lot about my hair, about my hair journey, about loving myself with my hair, about my body, about body hair, about loving yourself as you are. And sometimes I'd be having some fashion shit in the mix. But I just wanna thank everybody who subscribed to my channel and I'm really happy with how things have grown in these two years since doing YouTube and like how my hair has grown and just like having documents to say like, oh shit, like look at where you started. So I'm currently working on my one woman show for Stan up comedy which is just it feels above me it feels like a lot of work but I guess you just like slowly chip away and then I don't know I guess you have a show or something dun, 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 dun. okay public service announcement slash time to promote things I'm actually working on um, my one woman show is gonna be on November 23rd and I have already started selling tickets on a website called ticket Taylor and my um, early bird tickets have actually sold out in a day, which is incredible because 50 people bought a ticket and my pre-sale tickets are now up and you can just click on the link, which will be in my bio and I hope to see you guys there. So a lot of people still ask me questions about my hair and I just want to give like touch base with who I am and what's going on and yeah. So my name is Maya. I am Nigerian. I was born in London, raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I currently live in Berlin. Yes, that's a lot in one breath. Um, this is how my hair naturally grows. I really want to emphasize this. This is my hair naturally. I have not done anything. I have not used any products. I do not use any products. My hair naturally grows in the free form. Um, and this is called freeform locks, which is where you let your hair just do as it wants. And if you have kinky hair, it mats together. And that is what my hair has done. I have very nappy hair. So my hair has always clumped together. Um, as a kid and I was always breaking combs and my hair never really grew um, very long because it condenses. So the reason that my hair is this length actually is literally because I have freeformed my hair and it is in its happiest state. And um, sometimes when people have manicured locks, which is more the more traditional locks that look like really clean and like very even, um, if you had locks for two years, it might've looked longer than where mine's at, but because my hair is so nappy and it grows in clumps, it's at the length that it is. Um, some of it's obviously shorter than the others. There's not really unison in it. Um, yeah. But with that being said, I've always had nappy 4C hair. I hated my hair for most of my life. I was always really sad because so much of it would always break off. And now that I have freeform locks, I'm realizing the reason it breaks off is because my hair clumps together and it wants to just grow in a clump. And I was fighting that for majority of my life until like two and a half years ago. Um, I decided to freeform lock because I read Bell Hook's book, All About Love. There was a chapter in there. I don't even remember it now clearly, but she had some kind of saying about how a lot of times people feel like they have to keep changing themselves and seek for approval and love. And like the way she said it, it just, hit me on such a level and I was like, I'm not gonna keep changing myself in search for love. Like I wanna just be loved as in my natural state. So I let my hair do what it do and yeah, ta-da. How do you start? You just start, like you just let that shit grow. Like there's literally no like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I wanna be like a YouTuber who's like, then you have to like take the bark of a certain tree and like rub it into your hair and then it's gonna, it's like there's literally nothing. Like I literally make YouTube videos about doing nothing to your hair, but like also how powerful it is and like liberating it is to also just do nothing to your hair. I spend $0.00 on my hair yearly, which is a benefit. Um, and I think the nappier your hair is, the better it grows in the free form. So if you're someone who has been super frustrated with your hair because like you just aren't seeing, like it's just always breaking off or it's just so nappy. And even when, like even when I would do braids, like the way it would hurt, like if I had braids in for like a month and I take the braids up, my hair locked. 
And I was so embarrassed. I was always like, fuck. Like all the girls would have like, cute little twist outs. I'm over here with like fucking locks, nappy hair. I was, I just felt sad. And then I was like, bitch, nappy hair is low key cute. So I don't know. It took a whole moment of acceptance and like learning to love just nappiness and like what that means to me and how that word was really used to like hurt me and make me feel like I'm, I don't know, not as good as the girls with like the baby hair and like this 3A hair. And then you start to see like, oh no, there's like so much beauty in like the toughness. And like since reforming my hair, my hair's actually been thicker. Like it, it's just a, it's just like a thicker, it's just thicker. I feel like it grows thicker instead of it growing necessarily longer. At this point it is long, but I feel like it really expanded a lot. When I first had it, my hair didn't seem like it was that thick. And then it being in its natural habitat, it's like thick as shit, so. Okay, and then you guys ask me what I put in my hair. I literally don't put anything in my hair. I literally, so, I, so my hair and what I do with my hair changes on the seasons, depends on where I am. It's, it's so many factors that affect how I do my hair. I was doing my hair very differently one year ago. Um, I currently wash my hair like every three days with water, maybe every two days with water. I make sure I like wash my scalp. I feel like having a healthy scalp is like probably the most important thing. So I put a lot of emphasis to make sure that I um, wash my scalp. I don't use shampoo and I don't use conditioner. I have not used shampoo or conditioner in over six months. Two years ago, when I first started my freeform locks, I was shampooing and conditioning my hair a lot. Um, I forgot the name of the product I used to use, but I was like, not, I wasn't shampooing it a lot, but I was conditioning it every like once a week. And now that I look back, I'm like, oh my God, girl, like you didn't need that much conditioner or you didn't even really need any conditioner. But I don't know, it just made me feel confident and like good. So I feel like just do whatever makes you feel happy at the end of the day, like this, my hair is like living testimony that you don't need like literally any products and your shit will still be fine. I don't really see that much of a difference in my hair to be honest and I'm like pretty satisfied with it so I don't really do much to it. Um, there's like a misconception that like locks or freeform locks are really dirty but one thing I've learned is that when you use products it makes sense to use products to get it out but when you don't use products then like what are you using products to get out that's just like I don't know, I ain't no scientist or anything, but that's just like how my brain works. Like as soon as I realize, I'm like, oh, you don't use products. So like, what are you using products to get out? Like, it just changed me. Um, I typically have eczema in my scalp. I have a really, naturally really dry scalp, but when I wash my hair with cold water, it's like totally fine. If I'm washing my hair with hot water or if I'm sweating a lot, then my scalp gets itchy. But my scalp actually has been really good for the past like six months since I've stopped using any products. And then I, yeah, I, I do this often. So I feel like that's why it's a middle part. But I mean, if you want your shit to be like on this side, then like you just do that often. But um, yeah, I put it, it just depends on how you manipulate it. Like you put it up, it stays up, it's a look. You put it down, it's a look. Um, and I would say to people who are wanting to freeform, please, please do not get obsessed with length. This was like the thing that held me back from enjoying my journey the most is like, I just wanted longer hair because longer hair in Eurocentric standards of beauty is considered to be like wisdom and like, I don't know, it's like you wanna have it and like shake it and like, honey, having that nappy hair that stands up is like honestly the most beautiful shit ever. I wanna see nappy, nappy hair that's short. That is so gorgeous to me. And I was always wanting the length and the length and the length and for it to drop in the length and there's so much truth and honesty and rawness in that beginning stage where it's short and it's standing up and you don't know what it's doing and you're not sure if it's correct and you're like am i doing it right should i go back i can't go back like that whole process the way that your brain grows is fucking wonderful and now that i have longer hair i'm more encouraged and like i'm told that i fit more standards of beauty but it's a fucking lie like the truth is that's really sorry my camera died but, um, what was I talking about? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I love free, I love my hair. I love how much support I've gotten along the way. Um, and I hope that inspires you guys. And I hope that you continue to explore like what feels best for you. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Cheers. <laughs>